G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Hey, I was listening to Flatsoid in his most appropriately named stream to date. That's right, the facepalm stream. Now, there was lots of babble, but eventually Flatsoid tried to tell me what's what with the full scuba tank sinking and the empty one floating. Let's have a listen to that first. I don't know that, dude. Um, let, me, let me just quickly uh, tell Wally what, what's wrong with the, his observation with the scuba tanks. He thinks... That's a new thing. Because they added more gas in the scuba tank, therefore it debunks the displacement argument. No, it doesn't. It's denser because you put more substance inside the scuba tank. You didn't change the volume of the tank itself, as in the displacement of the tank, but you made it denser. So the ratio became denser compared to what can be displaced. So therefore still keeps with relative density disequilibrium. Not mass attracting mass, mate. Sorry, Wally. And this is where he repeated it again for me. And I, I want to ask, I also want to ask Wally quickly, when they fill up that gas canister, what happens with pressure if you compress gas? It becomes liquid, correct? Yeah. Is liquid denser than air? Yes. yes. Sometimes. Great. I don't know if you've ever taken a gas canister off that's filled up. A scuba tank and shook, shook it. You can actually hear out go. Shoo, 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 shoo. I have to go now. <laughs> no, the air uh, is not attracted yeah. to Earth, Wally. So I made a comment about it for him, and he read it and approved it. Wow, didn't see that coming, did he? To Flatsoid's credit, he did get one very important point correct. The tank sinks when full because its density had increased to greater than that of the water at an SG of 1.0. So if Flatsoid is so confident that his orange experiment, shall we call it that? This is an orange. Shows that removing mass means the orange is no longer attracted to the earth. Then how can it be so hard to see that adding air to a tank, which stayed the same volume, same displacement of water, added air, added mass to the tank? Actually, it will be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Well, gravity says that if you increase the mass, it will accelerate towards the ground. So we could weigh the two tanks and see the mass difference on the scale. In fact, this is how they measure the air charge in a tank by weight or by pressure. So now that Flatsoid has confirmed that mass is added and that that mass is air and that air is in vapor phase as you cannot compress air into a liquid at room temperature, it needs to be cooled way below the critical temperature for oxygen and nitrogen. But I digress. So density is mass divided by volume. We all know this. We know that the density of the tank has gone up. As the volume stays almost exactly the same, the only thing that can be changing is the mass. So the mass has gone up. And that resulted in a greater attraction to the Earth. So flatsoid, you have shown here, and let me spell it out for you in great detail. While well, gravity says that if you increase the mass, it will accelerate towards the ground. Air has mass. Mass go down air in container went down because the mass of the air is attracted to the mass of the earth and it caused the tank to sink. While well, gravity says that if you increase the mass, it will accelerate towards the ground. So air goes down goes boom boom. Meanwhile, thanks for confirming that the atmosphere is attracted to the earth and therefore we will not be needing that dome container that so far you have not been able to show exists. Mass doesn't attract mass. Have you, have you looked about a cloud recently? Is that going down, go boom, boom, towards the mass of Earth? Because it's got mass. Is it going down, Dumbo? No, mass isn't attracting mass, you complete idiot. Expect a call from Nathan Flatsoid. He will be wanting you to fix this mess. I'm very sure of it. While well, gravity says that if you increase the mass, it will accelerate towards the ground. Thanks, guys. Hey, this CNC project is starting to get exciting. Enjoy this.
hell is that? Success! There you go, mate. Nothing stops me. Well, not too much anyway. Maybe that will. Okay, first fit. I had to hope those screws were hidden a little bit better, but no matter. It's got to go through a little bit further yet, because it's not quite central. It's looking pretty good. I'm sure this will polish up real nice. Faster. That's with the 5x gearbox. Aha mate, a little bit of pride goes before a fall. Yeah, not quite going to fit on here yet. So I'm going to have to make some of these things a little bit skinnier before this will drop over. Hmm, I kind of expected that. 